Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Vebs and in today's video, I will be teaching you about the subject math. So our topic for today will be all about decimals. First, let's define what is decimal. A decimal number can be defined as a number whose whole number part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point. The dot in a decimal number is called a decimal point. The digits following the decimal point show a value smaller than one. Now let's start with our lesson. So for our lesson number one, I will be teaching you how to read decimals. So in order for us to know, or in order for us to read the decimals, we need to study first the place value. So I guess you already know what, what are the different place values since you already learned this in your uh, primary one and two and three class. So let's have a short review about the place value. So basically, we, when we talk about whole numbers, uh, we know that uh, the first number represents ones. And then we also have, so if we have two numbers, it represents tens. And then we also have hundreds and then thousands. So these are the different place value that we learned during our lower primary class. So now let's talk about the numbers after the decimal point. What do we call this place value? So after the decimal point, we call the first number tens. So we will always start at tens. The next number after tens, we call it hundreds. Again, hundreds. Next, we have the third number, which is called thousands thousands and then next we have ten thousands ten thousands so as you can see the numbers on the right side ends with the letters ths so please be careful when you pronounce the number in order to say the place value correctly okay so now let's start with our lesson so in our first number, we have the number one, which is in the ones place. So in this case, we will just say one. We don't need to say one once, we will just say one. So the dot here, again, it's called the decimal point and it is read as and. So one and. And now we have the next number after the decimal point, which is placed in the, uh, in the place value tens. So this is called one. And then we will add the place value, which is tens. So we say one tens. So this is read as one and one tens. Okay, now let's proceed to our next example. We have, in the ones place, we have the number three. So we say three, and then dot is re read as and, so we say three and. So since here we have the number zero, we don't need to say, we don't need to say it because it's zero, so. There is no value for this number. So we say three and, and then we go directly to the next number after zero, which is five. So we say 58. And then we say the place value of the last number. So the last number is number eight and the place value of number eight is thousands. So we say three and 58 thousands. Okay, now let's go to another example. So we have here 
23. Again, 23. 23 and 27. So the last number is seven and seven is in the hundreds. So we say 23 and 27 hundreds. Okay, so that's how we are going to read. Now, let's go to our last example. So here uh, we have uh, 445, which is, which is in the hundreds place. So 445 and, so again, we have here zero, we, we don't need to read this number. We will just say 445 and eight, and then the place value, which is hundreds. So we will say 445 and eight hundreds. So that's how we are going to read the numbers with decimal point. Now that we already know how to add decimal numbers, let's move on with our lesson number two, which is adding decimals. So I will give you two word problems that we are going to answer today. So uh, before we will start answering, let's remember some important notes in order to get the correct answer. So when the problem is asking for the total, we will be using addition in this case. Okay, so again, remember, if you can see the word total, that means you're going to add. Now, when adding decimal numbers, we need to align the numbers according to its decimal point. So when we add numbers, please be mindful of the decimal numbers. It should be straight or it should be aligned. If we will not do that, we will not get the correct answer. Now let's start with our problem number one. A car is 13.5 feet long and tows a boat that is 17.3 feet long. What is the total length of the car and boat? So we have here an example. So again, the car is 13.5 feet long. And then we have the boat, with, which is 17.3 feet long. So what are we going to do? Again, we are going to add. So 13.5 plus 17.3. So let's start by adding on the right side the last number on the right. So five plus three, we have eight. Now we will copy the decimal point and align it to the decimal points above. Now we will add three and seven. Three plus seven equals 10, carry one. Now let's add the, ne the next number. One plus one equals two, plus one equals three. So the total length of the car and the boat is 30.8 feet. So that is our answer for our problem number one. Now let's go to our word problem number two. On Saturday, William's parents gave birth to twins and named them Zab and Travis. When they were first born, Zab weighed 7.27 pounds and 21.5 inches tall. And Travis weighed 8.34 pounds. So again, we have here a picture of the two twins. So again, Sav is 7.27 pounds and Travis weighed 8.34 pounds. Now the question is, how much did the babies weigh in total? So total. So again, we are going to add the numbers all together. So 7.27 plus 
8.34. So 7.27 is Zab's weight. 8.34 is Travis weight. So let's add the numbers. So again, we will start adding. 10 plus 4 is equal to 11 carry 1. 2 plus 3 equals 5 plus 1, we get 6. And then we will copy the decimal point. And now let's add the last number, which is 7 and 8. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. So this is now our answer, 15.61. So Travis and Sab weigh 15.61 pounds all together. So that's how we are going to answer. So this ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned a lot from this class. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So since our lesson is already finished, I have here some activities that we will answer today in order to check or evaluate if you have understood this topic. So I will be sending you this um, activity in our in the in the chat box and please send your answers to me and i will check your answers so thank you very much for listening and for watching this video i hope you learned a lot from this topic and i hope to see you soon goodbye